Englewood police say a man who shot at officers last night is in custody and another man is dead. Police say that 22 year old was shot and killed, but they won't say who shot him. Nine News reporter Noel Brennan has been following this for us today. And Noel, we know that several police officers are on leave. Yeah, and Kim, that's usually the case whenever officers fire their guns. Englewood police wouldn't tell me the exact number of officers on leave, but it's more than two. And this is the house where that shooting happened at the corner of Grove and Bellwood. Windows are shattered, the backyard fence is destroyed, and there are tire tracks leading to the backyard. Englewood police tell us this started at 739 last night with a 911 call. Police would only describe it as a disturbance between family members. When officers got to that house, police say they were met with gunfire. Police say officers fired back and a 22 year old man was killed. I asked police whether the 22 year old had a gun and whether he was involved in the shooting. Police could not answer that question today, but we know that they arrested someone else. 29 year old Philip Blankenship. Police say he played a role in the shooting and faces a charge of attempted murder. Englewood SWAT team also responded to that house last night after the shooting. No officers were hurt. I spoke to friends of the family that lives at the house and they say the family is asking for privacy right now. Hmm. Okay, again, uh, we're hearing so many different versions of things, a lot yeah. more to sort through. Absolutely, and the 18th Judicial District, their critical response team, it's a multi-jurisdictional team and they're investigating the shooting. So until they release more info, uh, we'll be able to pass that along to you as soon as we learn more from them. All right, okay. we're just left with this. Mm -hmm. All right, thank you, Noel.